Okay. Well, that's all I cared about here. Um... Let's see. I'm not married to anything back this direction other than the... I don't need this anymore. Why are you not letting me... Oh, that's a memorized vehicle, not a note. Uh, other than the, uh, the plan to potentially hit the school. There wasn't any other particular reason. All right, yeah, let's do a little more, a little more investigating and traveling. So far, we've been pretty lucky this evening. Hmm. I think this is gonna dead end, given the way I've got the map generated. There's the tow truck, guard wasps, more wasps. Hey there. Internal boom crane. <laughs> Don't need you anymore. Actually, that's the boom crane, not the uh, engine crane. Uh, do I care? Do I care about the boom crane? And do I want to operate where there's wasps? Nah, they're too close. Too dangerous. Oh, gee, it's not one of the transcoasts. Yeah, my map is just saturated with these things. It's probably like the eighth one we've seen or something like that. I don't know why all of a sudden they're just everywhere. Turning around. Into the spooky forest. I haven't hit a roadblock on a lonely forest road recently. Kind of close. Mario G strikes again. <laughs> uh. Oh, good times, good times. <laughs> hey there, roadblock on a, <laughs> a desolate forest road. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I don't know if it's worth trying to get through that. <laughs> We've got another direction we can go. Uh, the timing, the classic timing. <laughs> Yeah, I keep telling you guys, the game is super easy. You just ask for something and it shows up. That's all there is to it. Mm, airdrop crates that are opened. So, another Zomborg site. Hmm. Pick up a few more rads. <laughs> Two of them. Two orchards right next to each other. Not sure why there's quite the uh, zombie party right there. Oh, it's a body site? Uh, I don't think that's a body site. Eh.
Well, see, the asking and your receiving system doesn't work until you've logged about 4,000 hours of Cataclysm play. Once you've hit that point, that's when you start being granted the uh, the ask for and receive permissions. <clears throat> doesn't work for anybody else. Headlights off, please. We haven't had another queen wasp waiting for me at the top incident in a while. No, nope, no wasp here either. Okay, what have we learned? We've learned that there's not quite a road <laughs> connecting into the city. That's a odd bit of uh, mapping. Another radio tower, FEMA camp. There it is. Too late. Too late, junkyard. <laughs> Damn it. You could have shown up three episodes ago. That would have been nice. So, dairy farm. I got no purpose for the dairy farm. I don't need anything at the refugee camp. Uh, Another tower would be okay, especially if we could get a look at another good sized city nearby. Fire lookout tower, don't need that. And we already knew about most of this. Well, little Elema, we shelter tucked in over there. Drove right past that. That's alright. Not gonna be anything in there that we need anymore anyway. Ah, I'm all disappointed now the junkyard shows up. Oops, another soldier body site. That's a that's a bit of a crowd. We got one of each of the zombie types. We got the robots. And a bunch of soldiers and only one or two rifles. Uh, four rifles that I can see. Yep, four. Hmm. I don't think I can get going fast enough. Got him. Doesn't solve my larger problem. I actually don't want to get near this dispatch. <laughs> I don't want to go into the water either, damn it. <laughs> I'm getting getting a bit trapped here. Uh oh. Uh oh! <laughs> grenade hack out! Alright, it's Humvee versus Grenade Hack. Which one's faster? The Humvee in the grass or the grenade hack? Oh, grenade hack stuck in the area because of the uh, soldier zombie. Ah, look at that. The grenade hack goes kabooey. <laughs> there it goes. Wow, that was interesting. Killed it, killed, uh, killed the robot and the soldier. Alright, let's... Uh, spin this... Bad boy around, we'll get some speed on the road here, and we'll try to line up a good through line of destruction. How many of these can I hit in one go? All of them? I think I got them all. I think I got them all. <laughs> well, that went pretty well. That was awesome. Okay, <laughs> this this is mine, my stuff. MREs, MREs. That's it, MREs. That's what you got for me. Hmm. Let's hold off on that. Let's just look this way. So we got grenades. We got grenades. We got hacks. Still no love on getting the infrared or the light amp. 
And eh, several IFAX. More MREs. Alright. That's fine. We got grenades. We got some healing items. It's all good. Uh, I definitely want those. Is it not displaying those in... Or are these separate from these? Apparently not. Must have damaged the bags or something. Uh, you don't care. ID card. All right, we'll sort the rest of that stuff out later. I've still got distracting pain, do I? All right, go ahead and have a tram at all. There we go. Yeah, that was one of the better uh, slide throughs to kill random stuff. Come on, cargo spaces. Just need a cargo truck. Just a cargo truck. More Mego Scouts. With no particular reason to deal with them. the wasp. Alright, so can't do that tower. It's possible we could... Uh, it'd be a long trip. I'm not sure we could work our way all the way back around again. <laughs> We're getting pretty far away from that spot. Go see if it's got the quad bike. I miss me some quad bike adventures. Had a lot of fun on quad bikes in Cataclysm. Poor cows. No quad bike. Well, actually, no, that's just a regular bike. No van, no quad bike. Just the normal bike. Another body site. So many soldier body sites. An M38 DMR plus three. What the hell is that? <laughs> I've never heard of that one. M38 designated marksman rifle, an M27 IAR. It's self-derived from an H and K416, so it's a <laughs> it's a subset of a subset of a subs or of a, of a primary weapon system. 
elected for accuracy and outfitted with a variable power scope and a QDSS presser. Oh, isn't that special? Somebody got really excited about about their uh, their gun porn again. Suppressor, rifle scope, and bipod. What's the fire range on this thing? 36, huh? And fires 556. Five, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's all sorts of fancy. I just just can't can't be asked to care. Uh, nothing else immediately on the ground. Appreciate everybody grouping up like that. <laughs> That's twice we had uh, a really nice run at them. Where's the wasps? Oh crap. Supposedly ignoring me. Alright, so you're insisting I have to go get this thing, are you? I'm overburdened. Compare phaser kill with M38 DMR plus three. Hey, look, the phaser has better moves per attack. <laughs> uh, so, so much I just don't care. Yeah, so much I don't care. They both have the same fire modes. They both use the same magazines. Other than a suppressor and the scope, theoretically? I don't know. I guess I could switch, but I don't think I'm gonna. We'll take it with me. Just, just you know, because people will get all sorts of bent when I leave weapons behind. <laughs> That's about the only reason. Oh, how many of these guys do I got to kill to actually ever find a damn light amp goggles or uh, infrared? Oh, Kevlar zombies, all sorts of zombies. <clears throat> I think we uh, destroyed a few things when we ran over them. I think that's everything, though. Oh, yeah, that list is getting a little obnoxious. Oh, damn it. I broke my mir my mirrors again. <laughs> I got to use them for how long? Not very long. I'm constantly breaking those stupid things. I need to get shock absorbers installed where I install the mirrors. See if they last a few minutes longer. You got any vehicles down here in front of the, uh, the FEMA? See a lot of dogs. And a Kevlar hole. And a bone plate wolf. Nah, not worth the effort. Let's go see if the uh, the truism holds up. Is the junkyard always have the uh, welding rig and the engine crane? The answer is no, but. Uh, we're checking just to see just how often it is true. 
the last one we looked at, it did. So, there's the welding rig, or the welding cart, I mean, with the welding rig installed. There's the hand jack, and there's the engine crane. And there's another solar vehicle with... Uh, I wouldn't want either of those. <laughs> those are terrible. So, yeah. If you ever see a junkyard and you're planning to do anything with vehicles, make sure you go to it right away. It's the absolute best source to get uh, the welding cart and the engine crane. Both really important for all the vehicle stuff. Alright, don't care, don't care. Uh, what was out back? No solar vehicles? And there's no attached zombie uh, pool for this location either. Yeah, no solar cars. Alright. Is there a maximum loudness pass which it doesn't matter anymore? Uh, sound is pretty weird. It's it's hard to give useful advice on sound. It is a thing. There is a way it's supposed to work, but too often I've demonstrated where it's not working the way it's supposed to, or where things are making a sound that doesn't exist, and all the zombies are running one direction or running the other direction. Plus, we have the reality bubble restrictions to keep in mind. Um, the game only simulates things two and a half spaces outward from your character. So one, two, in between these two spaces, basically. So it's a square like this. So even if you make a sound of 500, it's, it, it doesn't go past the reality bubble? I don't know. It's really hard to say just what the effects are going to be. So sound is a tricky one. It has supposedly rules and all that, and sometimes you can demonstrate them, but it's just tricky. Hey, we have a helicopter. Look at that. It's actually looking like it's in fairly okay shape. Two-seater helicopter. Uh, I'm not sure I'm looking for... What am I looking for now? I think I've got all the vehicle stuff, right? I don't really need gas or anything anymore. Av gas, av gas. Hey, I'll take another big welding tank. Oh, two more big welding tanks. All right, that should be more than enough acetylene for our various needs. Uh, more av gas. <laughs> what are we doing for storage? Still got way mucho plenty. So, another thing off the list. And another welding tank. Um, sure, I guess. We'll, we'll toss it out the back of the vehicle if we max out. Up to four welding tanks, so we've got almost. That's what? Oh, that's more than that. Yeah, that's almost a thousand. So we're good. Uh, I got no particular reason. Well, actually, I can go to the top of the tower to get a look around. Uh, which one's the tower? This one, right? That doesn't help us at all. It's just a known connection this way, probably at least at this point. Then it becomes questionable whether I could get over this to get over to this section. The school's just right down there. <laughs> we can do this long loop or back around to it. It's gonna suck when I don't have a connection and I have to go all the way back around again, theoretically. RivTech Design Binder. Sitting in a airport control tower, huh? 
Okay. Solar. All right, what's the status of your battery? Should be full if it's not damaged. Oh, look at that. Heavily damaged. Two of them. Oh, well. Not going to bother. I'm still amazed at the, the, the lack of book progress. <clears throat> Well, hey, random amigo. Is there a tower nearby? There is a tower nearby. And what is this? Soldier body site number seven or so? <laughs> I'm starting to get a little inured to these things. Oops. There's an M249 and another M38. They are not fighting anything else, so they're all after me. So we'll group them up into a nice tight little ball, tight as I can manage. All right, now we'll get some distance. Ah, they spread back out again. All right, can we get up enough speed in the dirt? These Kevlar ones are so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. We'll just shoot the last one. Still no love. Nope. More grenades are good. Yeah, what I want is in this pile right here and I'm just never getting it. Three grenades on this guy. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so then we got the loose weapons and the one guy I killed back there. Don't care about the loose weapons. We got more bullets than I'm ever gonna fire anyway. <laughs> a wallet with pennies. Okay, let's do a let's do a quality check on the vehicle. Let's see how long it takes me to repair to full after all the running things over we've done. All right, we're done. <laughs> we had a slightly damaged windshield and we had a slightly damaged front bumper. That's it. This vehicle is ridiculous. Ridiculous. What happened to the idea to dial down the military stuff? It hasn't landed yet. It's still planned. It's going to happen. Don't worry. We're seeing an inordinate number of uh, body sites this run, but we're traveling around quite a bit, too. And we haven't really gained much after the first one, so they're mostly irrelevant. Although I do have quite a few grenades now. Not sure when I'll be willing to use them. A prison. It's been a while since I've been into the prisons. I know they've changed. Solar vehicle. Do I care? Why would I care now? I keep mentioning solar vehicle, but we're already at two storage batteries. One's almost back to full strength. The other one will be shortly. We've already done the biggest drain, which was the initial repair process. I guess I don't really care. 
<laughs> and then there's the, uh, the actual solar car. Uh, the horse farm. That's the uh, that's the site of the infamous uh, Vormithrax gets uh, annihilated by a horse with its super kung fu. My, my kung fu was very weak. And the horse fu was very strong. So, I am not going to make it through there. We have to pray that I can make it through here. A river I'd be able to run along the edge of to get to the road network over here. Oh, actually, I should check. Sometimes there's a book or two in the house. Ooh, a zombie dog. Oh, hey, zombie dog. Are we still making 70 noise when I back up? <laughs> 15. Oh, because of the uh, pavement. Probably reload at some point, too. When am I at? 28? Eh. It's fine. Oops. What do you got? Book of Poetry. Uh, spaghetti. Through the Lens. Low level electronics book. Rollerblades! <laughs> dare I? Do I dare? Well, yeah, wasn't as much as I hoped. the books so oh survival why did I think through the lens electronics I don't know I don't know thought it was uh, too many grenades I only need one Gorman solution five Gorman solutions is uh, redundant Oh no, there's no caltrops involved in horse foo. They are just grandmasters at uh, the mystical martial art of horse foo. They get six attacks per round. And they're large animals with hooves, so those attacks hurt. What am I looking at here? Whoa, is this a vehicle? That's the wagon? Oh, alright. That's the covered wagon. I don't think I've ever bothered looking in there. Usually I just check these lockers, and then I go about my business. But yeah, I was just moving back along here. Was it here, or was it... I think it was on this side of the barn. I, I was coming across here, and I happened to... I move, I was moving, and a horse stepped into my path, and I, I didn't let up on the keys fast enough, and I bumped into the horse, and... He instantly hit me six times in the head with his uh, horse foo, and uh, I was dead. <laughs> that quick. Just instantly dead. Good times. And they're still as ridiculous today as they were the back then. That was like a year ago? Two years ago? God, I don't remember how long ago that was. Oh, well, that's not good. That's, that's a terrible arrangement of forest and river. Ah, uh, that's going to be a tough drive. Hmm. I really don't want to go all the way back, but I might have to. Well, it's not super far, actually, and it's fairly straight. I just gotta go straight up the, uh, the bank here. That swamp right there is gonna screw me. Is that 
can make it up here no problem, but I think that swamp that's right there is going to make my life miserable. We were good right up until that. Let's try it anyway. No better way to end a run than to accidentally drop your, your modded full, uh, full repair Humvee into a lake. Yep, there we go. Oh, nope, looked like it. All the grass came popping up. I thought I was done. <laughs> Alright, Swamp, what you gonna do to me? Making that corner is gonna suck a bit. This should be educational for some folks, though, that haven't seen this. So, now we need to pivot carefully. Make sure we're well inside the edge. All right, let me explain. <laughs> so this is the dangerous water. You can drive on this. This is what you got to avoid. Don't let your vehicles. I, I'm not sure if it's a wheel going into this or what it is, but you don't want to touch any part of this with your vehicle. So as long as I stay in the on the grass, dirt, and the shallow, we're okay. So that's how you can circumnavigate on these maps pretty easily once you know how to do this and you're not driving a super wide vehicle but it's pretty easy to navigate around forest blocker points like that if you've got a waterway like this so that's what we're doing again we need to carefully start to pivot yay 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 <laughs> that one made me a little nervous Ta-da! Look at that. Look at that. Glorious. I'm gonna go west instead of across the bridge over here. Don't really care about the uh, the cow farm. No opportunities for us there. Other than my fond memories of the quad bikes that I've had a hard time finding lately. That's another one where I'm curious if they actually do still appear there. God, not another soldier body site on a road even, and they're all gonna group up for me. All right, let's go bowling for soldiers. <laughs> ah, I couldn't turn fast enough to swipe into the other ones. No, don't go running off into the into the uh, swamp. Not before I get the soldiers. All right, that's everybody. Where's the wasp? Okay, 55. Should not be a problem. Don't care. Don't care. I'm done picking up MREs. We've got MREs for months. Soldiers are terrible. Terrible. You just will not drop anything useful. What are you? <laughs> That's just what I need. <laughs> A metal keg filled with 50 liters worth of RDX. <laughs> uh, uh, well, when was the last time I saw an RDX charge? Huh, I, can, I, I don't remember the last time I saw an RDX charge. Hmm, well, we gotta take that with us. That, that, that'll prove useful when we get to the, uh, the school. <laughs> we'll just trundle up and kick an RDX charge out the back of the Humvee, and then go racing away and uh, let it take care of some of the population problem there.
Okay. Hey, look, another M38. Apparently, they're uh, they're popular now at these body sites, at least. I don't think I missed anything. Like I said, mostly the things I'm looking for are right in this category. <laughs> Just the two goggles. About all I care about anymore. Okay, and this is not the direction I want to go, actually. Let's go see if uh, we can connect to that road network down south before we head up this way. We made pretty good progress on a few things this run with the vehicle, but um, uh, barely, barely. An inch through the diagonal gap right there. But uh, we made uh, very little progress on the uh, the book portion. Although things should speed up now that we've got the vehicle operating at peak efficiency. <laughs> Love these trailer homes. Love them. So many dogs. So many. Whoa, it's the acid, the blistered horror. Quite the disparity between design styles on the, the animals now. So we connected back up to the previous area. Oh, remember this spot? I said I could uh, possibly burn my way through. <laughs> we made it there. We're getting closer to the school. It's right down there. I'm still not sure we're going to be able to actually make it to like here and then work our way back down that way, but I'm going to keep trying. So we're going to ignore that road for now. We'll go north of Richmond. Nothing on the north side of this town I want to try to get to. Richmond did not do me the favor of hosting a easy-to-reach library. What do I want in the school for? It's one of the only sources of books that's, uh, I won't say it's easy to get to, but I know the exact layout and it happens to be on the outer edge of the town. And I can use the vehicle to draw probably 75-80% of the zombies out of the school and uh, not have to fight them and or just run them over in droves um, that way I can return and just race upstairs to the second level library there's a lot of books in the library at the school more so well it's been a while since I've been to the school library so I, I don't know if it's changed but in the past the school library was one of the best sources for just all the different book categories And it's not usually terribly hard, unless you're playing, you know, Double Zombies and Advanced Evolution and other silly stuff. Uh-oh, it's time to play Guess the MRE Count again. I've been failing today. I don't think I've gotten a single MRE. This is what our third airdrop will have opened. Ah, a RivTech light machine gun. <laughs> That's what I need to mount up on the, uh, uh, on the vehicle. <laughs> We got a RivTech light machine gun. Hey, wait a minute. I've got... Don't I have a RivTech assault rifle? Why am I... Why am I using... Phaser? <laughs> why am I using Phaser? I think I was saving the RivTech assault rifle for more important business. RivTech assault rifle. That's... That's hilarious. Or a RivTech light machine gun, I mean. Only 55 out of the 250. The the good thing, though, is that 250 magazine, I can take it out and I can put it into the assault rifle. So, I think 500, I think, only goes in the battle rifle. I think the assault rifle takes the 250. We'll find out. So that's a pretty good score. Oh, there's another good one. Stimulant delivery system. I think we have one of those as well. And a tear gas. I don't care about tear gas. Yeah, am I, uh, am I wrong? Yeah, there it is. There's the assault rifle. So, out of... Whoops. Out on the grass with you, assault rifle and light machine gun. Unload light machine gun. What the? Unload <laughs> assault rifle. Reload. Assault rifle. Oh, does it not fit it? 
Am I remembering wrong? Magazine. Only the 50? Oh, it must be just the battle rifle then. That's mis misremembering. It'll take the 100 round. All right, so this one's the 50 and the 100. The battle rifle will take the 250. That's the one I was remembering. All right, that's fine. Uh, I don't know that I actually... I I'm not going to mount it. I'm never going to use it as the... Uh, main weapon, so I might as well just leave it here. Forty-two volt meters, that was the guess? <laughs> you guessed wrong. The price is wrong, Bob. In the immortal words of Happy Gilmore. What is that a luxury RV? Another opportunity? Ooh, an evac shelter. Haven't seen one of those in forever. Ah, wasps. 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 Eh, where are they all? I don't trust them. I don't trust them. They're sneaky little bastards. When I get out to check things, all of a sudden there's a wasp in my face. Cracking what? <laughs> At 54. I would like your wing mirrors. They are nice and shiny. And slightly broken. So, 18 liters of diesel, some clean water, and another pretty good storage battery if I'm willing to sit here and uh, take it. Still nothing coming near me. They shouldn't come near me unless I get within like 18. I think it was 17 or 18 aggro range last time I checked it. Siphon gas into the Venga bus. Siphon gas into the Venga bus. And that's right, I haven't installed another tank yet for water. We could rip one of these tanks out and install it along with the storage battery. I'd have to grab stuff to do it. Um, let's see. What have I got that thing of water in? That's not my only clean water. What are you talking about? I had like 20 some doses in that. So where is that hiding? Oh, it must be up front. There it is. Still jerry can. Inventory, jerry can. Siphon. Into container, jerry can. All right, still nothing coming close. Plenty of water. Do I care about anything else? Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't care. I don't have a need. I don't think I have any butter left. We've had, uh, I don't know, four or five sticks of butter so far this run, but uh, they're they're all on their last legs. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Who put that wall there? Repair. There are no damaged parts on this vehicle. <laughs> Bees are so ridiculous. Oh, makes me laugh. Give me your first aid kits. There is no first aid. There is no first aid. Wait, nope. <laughs> there might be first aid. <laughs> I had it sorted for water. There are first aid kits. Let's drop them on the ground uh, and then pick up just what we want. I would like... Oh, pretty good. Antifungal? Really? In a first aid kit? Or is that my own inventory? 
Oh, that's my own inventory. All right, so uh, adhesive, bandages, gauze, and septic. Yeah, it freaked me out for a second. I'm like, antifungal? That's not right. What kind of materials did we uh, free? <laughs> not much. Uh... All right, so we're almost there. We'll, we'll check out what these endpoints are. Pretty much, we're just hoping to uh, have this stay open, and that'll get me all the way back to where we were going to be heading anyway, which, if we make it, is going to surprise the hell out of me. Map gen's usually a stone-cold bitch when I'm trying to drive around and get anything actually done. Well, I think it might trick me. I'm going to bet there's woods in here that are going to block me. Trailhead's useless. It's going to be another trailhead at the other end of that road. Ah, <laughs> radio tower. Well, that'll answer the question if it's not filled with wasps. Let's go find... Ah, Triffids! I forgot. We're so close to the Triffids. Alright, we're not going to find out. <laughs> I'm not going near the Triffids. Those things are bad news. I didn't, uh, I didn't close up the back hatch. I gotta go do that. Another solar car. I don't want solar cars. I want cargo spaces. Come on, map. Don't foil me right at the end here. Oh, we're clear! Well, we're at least clear of the road, which is almost good enough. And it looks like we're going to be clear all the way down, I think. Cool. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll kind of do an around, get everything filled in, checked out. You get, get a fungal infection, can you let yourself get stabbed by a trivet to cure it? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't believe so. I don't think it works that way. Okay, houses, houses, getting through here doesn't put me in reach of anything really useful other than potentially another dojo. Passed up one dojo opportunity. We could probably make that run if we did it at night, maybe. Really comes down to how many Night Stalkers I run into. So far, no zombies up here to the north of this town. All right, we'll take advantage. Go with, back to the wood ax, I guess. Battlehammer 20k. Forgot I have a crowbar with me. Not used to having my crowbar. I heard blam. Is there a bank nearby? Oh, hey there, bank. Wait a minute. One, two, I guess we're just in range of the bank, reality bubble wise. So it's probably the robot guard at the bank taking pot shots at uh, zombie. Motorcycle helmet. And another pair of leather. I'll take the extra pair of leather gloves. Boomer. <laughs> Closet with a coat rack that's locked and empty. Things to do with milk. That's not a skill book, is it? I don't think there's anything left on that list I care about. Uh... 
Pickles, pickle veggies, more bacon, more yogurt. Can't have enough trim at all. Is this uh oh this is a duplex facing this way so two car garage duplex on each side all right let's head back to the car that was a little odd Still haven't gotten a hold of my uh, e-ink tablet PC either. Still waiting for that to show up. Yeah, I think we're we're pretty well set to get to the uh, the school. That's where all the zombies are hanging out. <laughs> uh, I gotta love double zombie spawns. Oh, what the hell were you thinking, people? I assume that's the... Is that the mailman body site? Yeah, that's the mailman body site. There he is. Mailman. <laughs> or mail carrier. Sixteen zombie dogs, two Rottweilers, and four bar guests, aka Hulk dogs. Ooh, fancy! That's where I hop the fence and discover this house has also got a mob of dogs. Somebody tell me again what the point of lock picking is. <laughs> Every single house pretty much has uh, open windows. Scissors and long string. Not helpful. Don't care. We've got an upstairs area. From an electric suit. Suit's not good enough. Outfit or bust? An ammo satchel. I doubt we're going to find much up here that I care about. We need to get a look around, though. So we are clear. Look at that. That's amazing. So the only tight spot we had was uh, working our way around that, that river spot. So, we'll be able to get access to Chelsea, raid the school, and we got a giant forest barrier to the west that goes way far down south before we can maneuver any. So it's going to be hit the school, and probably roll back north and uh, go into Chelsea, I think. Final drop. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta sort out some medical gear. It looks like. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we have run out of time for the evening. I gotta stop right there. 
good place to stop. We uh, we made quite the transit around the area. Got a lot of progress done on the vehicle, which is going to speed things up. We haven't located a single refugee center yet. Now, partly that's due to me not talking to the evac shelter computers. I probably should do the evac shelter computer thing to locate the local refugee center. So I'll try to remember to hit the evac shelter computer. We'll go back and uh, do that. Um, we got more driving around to do. Hopefully we get a good book book score from the uh, the school here. We'll have a, a good a nighttime bonus for approaching it, which won't help me because as soon as we go inside, I'll be back to my normal night vision. Um, so it's not going to help tremendously, but a little bit. And uh, we'll see if we can keep pushing things along. So thanks for following along with the, uh, the adventures this evening, everybody. Greatly appreciate it. And for the generous donations that got us to hit our, uh, our 150 goals so we can uh, have another zombie dog, you know, little picture thingy. <laughs> I'll have that ready for you on Monday when uh, we rejoin this particular adventure. Four o'clock on Monday, as usual. I'll be on the weekend doing some stuff at certain times. Uh, I don't know what exactly when, but I hope to see you then. Have a great evening. Stay safe out there. Let me go uh, do a quick glance, see if there's somebody I can send you to.